Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, Santa blessed me early this year. Um, one of my neighbors over here in Thousand Oaks, California, gave me three scooters that were, all the parts are there. Some of them are taken apart somewhat. His kids were playing with them. That's a GoTrax, um, 300 watt motor, 36 volt. It's got some good parts. It's only, man, if you saw the display, you'd be amazed. It's only uh, maybe a year old stopped working. Not sure why I got to look into it further. Oh, it's got an E3 error code. I got to look that up. Um, this one here, when I power it up, it has a, just number 18 is the code. This one here is Okai. I have two of these identical. And uh, yeah, on this one here, I changed out. I removed the original controller throttle and um, display off this one and I put a Chinese generic off of Amazon um, here's your display use that throttle um, this is a thousand watt controller so upon firing it up I realized that there's other issue I hadn't looked at I kind of made some work for myself here um, code 18 is something to do with hall sensors. Um, it was from what I was looking on the internet, it was making me think that I need to open up the wheel and buy myself a new board. If I was to troubleshoot 18, I'd look at everything from all the wiring that runs from the hall sensors as well as test this board. You know, all the wires um, to the throttle, everything. Or from I'm sorry, from here to here. Um, well, I had it running with this new controller, and next thing you know, it's kind of shorting out. And so I removed these caps off this front forks, and this nut and bolt just fell out. Dang, hit the ground. So what happened was these weren't connected. This little stop was not on there. This one was on backwards. Yeah, look how that one's on. It's on backwards. It's not even pointing towards the fork. But anyways, it was twisting around. And it was binding up and it pinched off this wire. So you've got, what, eight wires in here, three phase and then the five hall. And they, I can't trust it like that. The correct thing to do would be to probably to buy a whole new wheel is what they'd want you to do, the manufacturer. But I'm going to uh, disconnect all these, slide this out of the axle, and put new good quality silicone wires in there and then uh, solder the connector back on. But anyways, that's where I'm at. I wanted to say, not every single scooter manufacturer uses the same error codes. Um, on the GoTrax, an E3 code. And here on this Okai, just the number 18. So I, I was on the internet today trying to do some little searching, asking questions about codes. And it's trying to throw me certain answers to this one, this one. It, it doesn't realize that different manufacturers use different codes. So just want to let everybody know that. Keep that in mind if you're going to repair something. And beyond that, oh yeah, some um, controllers are hallless and hall together. They will work with hall sensors or without it. Um, this, this typical Chinese generic with display with throttle, 60 bucks on Amazon, will work either way. You can have it with halls or without these that come with the scooter itself are strictly with hull. If you have a hull sensor go bad, overheat and go bad, it'll just stop working altogether. That's a may, big issue with people when they have a scooter that's a year or two old, whatever, that had some hours on it and it just dies all of a sudden. Um, those do overheat, especially if you're heavy and you're putting a, you know, going up hills and whatnot, getting that thing hot. Um, okay, yeah, besides that, that's about all I got. Thanks.